What up, watch peeps? You guys, most of you are probably familiar with G-Shock strap adapters like you can see here on my Skimmy Shock with a Barton's Band silicon strap on it. You can get these on AliExpress for like nine bucks. In fact, I will put an affiliate link in the description if any of you are interested in picking up adapters for your G-Shock. But what you might not know is that they also make them now for the Casio World Timer. Now the Casio World Timer has 18 millimeter lug instead of the 16 like G-Shocks have. So they're slightly different adapters. They're not quite available on AliExpress yet. So if you want those, you're gonna have to go to the OG, J's and K's. They sell their wares on eBay and I think Etsy as well. I'll try and put an eBay link to the J's and K's adapters in the description as well. So I ordered some of those up to check out for my world timer. So let's open that bad boy up. I'm Pete and we are chilling with watches. Got something else cool in the mail today from J's and K's, but not your standard G-Shock affair this time around. Let's see. Cool package, give you a little tool in there. But what I got is, dump all this stuff out. These are adapters, not for a G-Shock, but for the World Timer, the AE-1200. So, you know, um, this was a cool mod when I did it, but I'm completely bored of it as per usual. So I'm gonna take this apart, put these on there, and turn this into something new. Strap off. All right, let's get that case back off and we're gonna pop that green overlay out of there. I didn't glue it in or anything, so that should be quite easy. So here, screws out, case back off. These are pretty easy to deal with. The one thing you guys do got to be careful about when you're messing with these is that little spring right there. Right there. Let me see. Right there. That, if you lose that spring, this thing won't beep anymore. And well, nobody wants that. So pop the module out. See, I didn't put it on the module. That's still fully intact. I just shoved one of those overlays in here falls right out. Why did I not zoom back out for that? Yeah, so you can see that was just kind of sitting in there. Just falls right out and I can go back to stock pretty easily. So let me pop this module back in there, put the case back on. All right, there's that. Back to stock. Let's get the adapters out. And when you're screwing those case back on, I usually go diagonal across, kind of like putting lug nuts back onto a car tire. See, they gave me quick release bars. I couldn't find the other one there. And the only other thing is you want to be careful not to over tighten as you are screwing into plastic and you don't want to strip those. Let me get these spring bars out of here. It'll be easier to do while it's not on the watch. Duh, drilled lugs. <laughs> Where'd that go? Fear not, I got it. All right, so let's see, we got these quick release. So the World Timer's 18 millimeter lugs, not 16 like the, uh, like the G-Shocks. All right, let's see, I'll do my best to get this in there. It is quick release, but it's in a weird place that's kind of hard to hit with my fingers. Easier to just push it in with the spring bar tool. There we go. All right, and the other side. Just kind of slide those in there. Get one side in. There you go, you can hear the snap. All right, those are in, you can see what they look like. And I happen to have this bad boy on hand, which is gonna look awesome. And they do provide you with new spring bars 
22s. I did not see 18 to 20 mil adapters for these, just 18 to 22, which is fine. It's not a small watch. It can handle a 22 millimeter strap. Oh, that looks so cool. Sorry. Oh, yeah. What do you guys think? That's pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think. I, I like it. When I originally saw this one was one of those like $12 Casios. But I thought it would look even better on the blacked out world timer. Definitely need to get that green out of the display. Now this display kind of matches the strap. Pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I just kind of saw those. Never tried the J's and K's world timer adapters. Figured I'd share that with you guys. There you go, guys, the J's and K's Casio World Time Strap Adapters. I think this combo kills. I love this strap with this model, really matches the display. As much as I love Casios, the strap is where it often falls short for me. I don't hate the stock strap, but some different options are always welcome. Let me know what you guys think. Share your thoughts in the comments. And as I mentioned, I will put links to all these adapters in the description as well. All right, before I let you go, sneaker check. I'm just wearing my Jordan 1 Lowe's, and that's it. I'm out. If it's not too much trouble, like, subscribe, and come back next time. Peace.